Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. Catch us on YouTube, Instagram, TV, all that great stuff. So today, I want to talk about how do you handle client requests and how do you handle client requests when there's like a multiple chain. So I responded to a friend on Twitter about how can she <clears throat> go ahead and filter out requests that are sort of pie-in-the-sky things that come from higher above her clients within an organization. So let me paint the picture for you. You have a board of directors, let's say, who want a website or want your marketing to do X, Y, and Z, but you work, your direct client, the one that you work with is the communications manager, or let's say in this case, the vice president of marketing. How do you go ahead and honor the requests, I clean up. how do you go ahead and honor the requests of the board and make sure that they're being heard, along with doing the best thing for the client and the best thing for the project and the best thing to achieve results. So one of the things that we like to do is <clears throat> we like to go ahead and use some sort of a ticketing system. So there are a lot of different methods to do this. We give everybody access to the ticketing system. Now, when something somebody comes, when something comes from the higher ups, the boards, the C-level, we'll allow our client to respond to it first before it becomes something that actually gets to our, our to-do list and you know within our scope and our checklist. So this way, what happens is there's a dialogue. The benefit is we're privy to the, the dialogue and we have some, we, we start to understand the inner workings of the organization of why it's important, what the requests are and how they wanna handle. We'll then allow our client, we'll continue to empower our client to do their job, to make sure that they're going ahead and, and responding. And then all of a sudden, we get the request and it's typically a real world thing at that time. So it works really well. The tool that we use is probably one of the simplest is we use GitHub and we use Git issues for this. Now I know technically a request is not an issue, so let's not get hung up on a semantics, but the ticketing system and the board and the document and dialogue is amazing. There are other ways to do this. So before you jump on me, there are other ways to do it. There are things like Zendesk. There are things like Asana or Basecamp where you can do this. We've just found that GitHub allows us to provide a solution that's not over-engineered, that's sort of out of the box that we can customize to our use case and make sure that everybody's heard. So if you're having this trouble with communication, first of all, you have to honor what the board and what the C-level wants and what their ideas are. But, but in you, you honoring them, it's not necessarily your job to entertain those. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you empower your client to continue the dialogue with their higher ups. And then by the time it gets to you, it's typically, everything will usually make a little bit more sense. So, hey, I hope this helps you. You know, this is just another way that we do some workflow stuff around Trinity Web Media. We'll keep making some videos for you. Hey, keep checking them out. We definitely appreciate you. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, all that great stuff, and we'll talk soon.